let's uh, let's start the session then uh, the session is dedicated to the title over here which is importance of Stat statistical data analysis so let us first understand the you know significance of this title and what this title is and uh, you know how to go about it it says importance of statistical data analysis which means when you are doing a research and when you are quoting your aims and objectives that these are the aims and objectives by virtue of which i am starting my research so you need to be you know specifying it that this is the point number a which i am going to establish this is the point number b which i am going to establish this is the point number c which i am going to establish but unless and until you don't have quantifiable statistics with you you cannot afford to claim that i achieved my research or my research has gone and terminated where i wanted to it to be so to accomplish this task to prove this task it is so very needful and so very mandatory that some statistical analysis should support your you know research for that one i introduce this topic over here uh, if you can see into the details of this topic i am uh, going for introduction of statistical analysis that what basically it is then we are going to see uh, previous slide please previous slide yeah previous one previous previous index the index slide I want the index content slide. Who's operating? Yeah, earlier to this. Earlier to this. Earlier to this. Back, 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 back. Yes. Uh, the first content which we are going to discuss is introduction to statistical analysis. then we are going to observe the significance of quantitative statistical analysis try to understand this keywords which are very very important for a researcher then what are the objectives if we are going to do the statistical analysis then what are the objectives what we trying to achieve out of it we need to understand this then test statistical measures on what are the quantifiable parameters what are the quantifiable entities which we need to touch while we are doing statistical analysis we need to realize that then it is its importance to result analysis look when you are doing research you need to plot results research cannot be without results or outcomes or throughputs so whenever you are proposing results that these are the probable outcomes or the uh, observed outcomes of my research these statistical analysis is going to help you a lot while plotting or while drafting your result of the research then basic idea about the statistical analysis how to perform it how to go about it then some of the hands on tools or softwares which are available to do statistical analysis and finally we'll conclude it so this is what we need to traverse or explore today in this session next next please next slide yeah so let me understand the definition of statistical analysis the definition of statistical analysis says statistics may be defined as the science of yeah statistics may be defined as the science of collection presentation and interpretation of numerical data from the logical analysis so i i am uh, using actually three keywords over here in this definition so let's understand this it is the science of collection so what i mean out of it look when you are doing some research it is fundamentally so very needed that whatever the data you are acquiring whatever the data you are acquiring that should be correct in order i mean to say during the research whatever the data collection you are doing that has to be indeed correct if the data itself the input data itself is faulty then the plotted results will be faulty so you need to be extremely severe while you are collecting the input data so data collection Uh, statistics will help in data collection presentation another important part if you have acquire the data how to put forward across the party it may be uh, it may be uh, another research which is going on for which we have to put across the you know data it may be a result which we have to uh, you know describe where uh, this data is required it may be investigation agency it may be court of the law it may be police sometime where you have to present the data so you need to think about the presentation how you are going to present the data 
the third thing is that interpretation what you understood out of it what are the semantics of the data what is your guessing about the data what you think about the data so these are all the things of the numerical data from the logical analysis which statistics will give you now let us understand what is logical analysis now logical analysis is the analysis which is done logically Uh, there might be not possible that the physical quantities or physical entities will be per, uh, permitted or allowed uh, to make the analysis sometimes you need to play with the logical entities as if like for example let us consider if somebody um, if, if if in the bank some you know robbery has happened so physically you might not get the criminal on time but there is a cctv footage so you can take the advantage of that cctv footage collect that footage present it in the court of the law and understand who has done it so that's why i introduce these keywords collection presentation and interpretation using uh, numerical data for the logical analysis so this is where the statistics is going to help you a lot next slide so let us introduce what is statistical analysis how to go about this the statistical analysis is the systematic collection and analysis of numerical numbers look again the keyword comes collection which is important if you are spoiling the inputting if you are spoiling the process of inputting into the system if you are spoiling the process of collecting the valid data into the system your whole system will become faulty so you need to be extremely severe while collecting the data so statistical analysis is the systematic collection and analysis of the numerical data in order to investigate and discover the relationship amongst phenomena now investigation means what investigation means getting the facts getting the truthful findings getting into the factful things and discover discover means what can be interpreted what can be decided what can be evident to 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 find out that thing about the phenomena is all about statistical analysis this is where statistical analysis comes into the act for investigation and discovery of the relation which is related to the various phenomena associated to the data analysis next now what are the significance of quantitative statistical analysis in research i uh, i will try to spend 2 minutes on that and i will request everybody to concentrate tremendously hard because this is so very important if you are a researcher the what uh, it it has this slide has three points first fundamentally the first point says quantitative statistical analysis is based on describing and interpreting objects statistically and with numbers now let's understand this if you want to be quantitatively statistically analyze a data look what is the beauty of it if you are saying 2 plus 2 equal to what it has to be 4 which is the desirable output and if your system is also giving the 4 then the existing system and your system is working properly this is justification now what this uh, definition says of quantitative statistical analysis it says it's about describing and interpreting that means how you are presenting it how you are exploring it and how you are getting a meaning out of it because whatever the research you have done if it is meaningful then only it is impactable if it is having some meaning to the society if it is uh, having some impact to the society then only it is meaningful otherwise it is of no mean so it's all about describing and interpreting the objects statistically with numbers you need to present some mathematical model you need to say that look 2 plus 2 equal to 4 hence my research can be proved otherwise if you can keep on putting the theoretical things again and again and the bulk of theoretical things you can propose but there is nothing conclusive out of it nothing evident out of it your research is of no mean if i ask you to 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 develop a fan which can give the some quantity of the air you can keep on describing your fan is of three uh, you know uh, 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 wings your uh, fan takes this much current this much voltage it will having this much revolutions uh, it will look beautiful it will be having this color but it doesn't give air which is required then your research of no mean so your research should be you know having description and interpretation about it then the second point says quantitative analysis aims to interpret the data collected for the phenomena through numerical variables and statistics this is also very important 
again the emphasis over here is around data collection because look whatever the statistical analysis you are going to do which of a statistical analysis you are you you are saying i am going to obtain say k means or i am going to obtain uh, i am going to operate gaussian filter or i am going to plot some graph or i am going to draw some pie chart or whatever the stacks you are going to use for all those one data collection is so very important extremely important if your data collection is not up to the mark not not correctly collected then all the phenomena all the statistics which you are going to perform on to it will be wrong it will be faulty so the basic emphasis while quantitative analysis is data collection and how it will be given how it will be done it will be done by using numerical numbers and statistics so you can either have variables which is the data value or you can directly use the statistical formulas so by virtue of these things you can do the quantitative analysis then lastly it says quantitative analysis includes computational and statistical method of analysis so let us understand both the keywords look computation is different from calculations now what is computations computations are calculations plus logical operations so if you are doing this thing then you are performing quantitative analysis or otherwise you can directly have your statistical methods like newton raphson method is there you know uh, k means algorithm is there or some plotting of the graphs plotting of the pie charts or other some presentation schemes are, schemes are there which are associated with the static statistical methods so those even you can operate while doing the quantitative analysis next please now this diagrammatic presentation clearly depicts that what is the role what is the significant of quantitative analysis in research look initially while doing any statistical analysis or quantitative analysis you need to collect the data so data collection is your primary phase and i insist again the data collection should be so very correctly driven so very evident the second point about it is data analysis now about data analysis you need to go for fact finding that whatever the data i have acquired and whatever my objectives of the research were is this data which i acquired from the system will be matching to my objectives which i have designed will be matching to my aims which i designed so this is the analysis of that which is nothing but fact finding that am i close to my ideal system which i thought while doing the research so you need to come about data analysis then data interpretation very important now you need to get out the meaning that whatever the data i acquired or whatever the statistical analysis i have performed what is the meaning of it is it of mean which i thought while doing the research or it is not matching to my mean look getting negative interpretations or positive interpretation is different thing but interpreting the process correctly is different altogether are you getting it now if you are getting maybe sometimes negative results out of the interpretation that is accepted that will open the doors to the researcher which will tell look these are not the ways to find these objectives but if your results are positive if your interpretation of the data is positive that will open the flag gates which will say that whatever the proposed system or research you have done that is sufficient enough to achieve the forementioned objectives so that is data interpretation and finally these interpretations you can code inside a report you can report it now why reporting is so important look at the end of the day whatever the researcher is doing whatever the researcher is performing that has to be quoted in a document that is mandatory because that document is nothing but representation of your research work and everything you are getting into the quantitative analysis or statistical analysis should be reported properly and once this report is drafted then it can be consumed by various researchers or various agencies which may be investigation agencies court of the law police or some researchers which are do, uh, doing the research into the research laboratories so this shows this diagrammatic presentation shows the significance of statistical analysis in research next please now very important why we are having this session over here what is the significance why quantitative analysis will be done in research so the first and very must uh, objective is to evaluate and interpret numerical data look whatever the research you are doing it is so very evident that whatever the data you have got out of that research you need to evaluate it 
whether that data is up to the mark with, for which you started the research or not. And secondarily, interpret, get the meaning out of it. Say you have designed objective number A, B, C, D, four objectives you have designed for your or decided for your research. But whatever the data you have got out of the research is not hitting those objectives. Your interpretations are not getting positive. So your data is not, you know, up to the mark. You can, you know, conclude by virtue of that. So this, that's where statistical data analysis will help you to evaluate and interpret your numerical data by virtue of which you can understand, okay, my research is working or okay, my research is not working. Fine. The second objective of statistical data analysis is to collect sufficient evidence about various parameters or components of a technology. Look, whenever you are doing research on a technology or on any of the sciences, you have decided some parameters, maybe a 